Ivanka Trump to be sidelined by Donald Trump during final days in office. Ivanka Trump is expected to attend the inauguration of Joe Biden after her father Donald Trump lost the presidential election but the outgoing president may find a way to sideline her and his final days in office. There is just a week left until Mr. Trump is officially out of office, but there are fears he may use this time to go out with a bang. Tobias Elwood, chair of the Defense Select Committee told Express.co.uk that Mr. Trump likely has something up his sleeve and will not go quietly. Vice President Mike Pence has refused calls to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove the president from office early. Meanwhile, several cabinet members have resigned following accusations Mr. Trump incited the riot on Capitol Hill that saw four people die and many more injured. Mr. Trump's daughter Ivanka was a senior advisor to him throughout his term in office and is seen by some as a calming influence or stabilizer on her erratic father. However, Mr. Trump may have a tactic to sideline her after reportedly saying her decision to go to Mr. Biden's inauguration is the worst decision she could ever make. It has been suggested that Mr. Trump has previously kept Ivanka away from decision-making by timing his more extreme moves for a Saturday, when the first daughter is observing the Sabbath. Ivanka is a practicing Orthodox Jew, having converted when she married her husband Jared Kushner. This means that between sundown on Friday and sundown on Saturday, the couple must observe the Sabbath, which includes not using technology, such as smartphones. Jared told Vogue in 2015 that he and his wife turn off their phones for the Sabbath. For this reason, despite both Ivanka and Jared being senior advisors to the president, they are completely unreachable for 24 hours each week. Mr. Trump appears to have sneakily timed some of his most controversial outbursts for a Saturday when his daughter and son-in-law are not around to temper him. A 2017 article in The Telegraph suggested that the president may be deliberately excluding them so he is given free reign. This pattern started to appear right at the beginning of his presidency when he sent out then-Press Secretary Sean Spicer to say the crowds at his inauguration were record-breaking, only for photos to later contradict this, 